I thought today would be like any other day, but I was wrong, very wrong. I had just gotten back to my conversation with Brian. Through a few exchanges, we talked about some past projects we have been working on and mentioned to him that since the weather was too hot outside today, I thought I'd practice learning React. That must have sparked something in Brian because in that moment, he brought to me an idea, an idea to build a weather app. So I grabbed my best friends, ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, and we got to work. I started off with the basics, of course. I asked my buddy ChatGPT to help me get a React app started from scratch. ChatGPT made quick work of that and explained step by step how to get that started. Though the information it provided me was slightly out of date, I was still able to get the app up and running. If only ChatGPT were trained on Treehouse's React course, it might have not messed this first part up. But like any great developer relying heavily on AI, I kept on prompting and my weather app started to take shape. Time felt like it was flying by even though my clock was spinning backwards. Once I started getting data back from my weather API, I knew it was time to work on the UI. I asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas for the layout, as well as some color palettes for the project. After hating literally every option it supplied me, I decided it was time I found my own way in life and let ChatGPT go. I quickly turned around an ultra-complex UI and coded out the rest of this massive code base on my own. And here it is, the weather app of all weather apps. Indulge yourself in this immersive and incredibly complex UI, the intricate architecture of the React code base, and the memories made with my best friends on this adventure. Once again, thank you, Brian, for planting the seed of an idea that has blossomed into a project that could genuinely change the world. Your contribution has made an indelible mark on my life, and I am forever grateful for your support.